All right. Well, it is 12.03. So I want to go ahead and get started um, and be aware of everyone's time schedules here. Um, I thank you all for joining us uh, today. For those of you who don't know me, I think I know everybody, but um, I'm Megan Jenkins. I am the membership director for the Greater Washington Society of CPAs. Uh, Carrie Bedell is also on the call. She's our executive director. Um, and we wanted to do this, um, I know it's been about a year, a little over a year since we launched uh, GWS CPA Connect. Um, we ended up launching it a little sooner than we had planned um, at the start of the pandemic because we thought it would be a great resource um, for our members to use um, in a virtual environment. Um, and since we kind of rushed to that launch to get it available to everyone, we never really did any type of uh, intro to the platform and how to use it other than um, some documentation that we sent out. Um, so now that we've had it out there for a while, people have been using it, we kind of just wanted to have this as a resource to jump on, walk through how to use it and answer any questions that you all might have. Um, and just to kind of get an idea, um, how many of you have actually used Connect and posted a discussion? You can put it in the chat box if just yes or no, if you have actually used Connect. All right, so it looks a little bit of both. Um, so some of you may be familiar with this, some of you, um, it might be your first time really coming in here. Um, so I'm just gonna start by walking through everything just so you have an idea of what the platform looks like. Um, so this, the website is connect.gwscpa.org. So when you first get on, uh, this is what the um, homepage is gonna look like. Um, it's gonna ask you to log in if you're not already logged in on our website. Um, and so on the left-hand side here, you'll see um, continue to log in. And if you just click on that, there actually gives you two options to log in. Um, one, um, you can click on here for website login and it'll just direct you back to our website, allow you to log into our website. Um, it's the same login and password they use um, when you log in to do um, CPE courses or your membership renewal. But there's also an easier option as well. Um, if you maybe don't know what your password is, uh, all you have to do is put in your email address and click get access code and it will send you an access code right to your email and you can just use that access code to log in. Um, so if you're not sure about your website password, that's an easy way to do it as well. Um, also as an option, you can always reach out to me. I am happy um, to give you your um, password. Um, most usually your um, username is your email address um, unless you have changed it. But again, um, just reach out to me if you're not sure uh, what your information is. So once you get logged in, uh, this is what the homepage is gonna look like. Um, you'll see on the left-hand side, it's gonna have your information. If you've uploaded a photo, it'll be here, your name. And then I will just kind of go through everything that's on this homepage here. I am an admin, so there'll be a few more buttons and things that you see that you won't see for other groups, um, but pretty much it'll look the same for you. Um, so we start here. Um, if you want to start a discussion, you can do it here. Um, you'll also see any unread messages, unread discussions, recent activities, your groups. Um, you can click on any of these to see um, each of those sections. Um, my courses we're not using um, right now. We used it a bit um, when we had in-person um, events, we would do registration through there, but since mostly uh, we are virtual now, we're not using that at the moment. Recent messages on the right-hand side are any messages that you might have one-on-one um, -on -one with other members. Um, I'll show you down below how you do that, but that is um, where those will all show up there. My groups um, is the next section. Um, so right now we really just have the open forum being the biggest group that we um, that we utilize. Um, we do have a couple smaller groups that we have been trying to launch, uh, one for our CPA study group, another one for our CFO controllers. And we do wanna um, eventually expand to using more of those specialized groups. Um, and so hopefully for instance, uh, nonprofit section is in here, um, we can use that for those um, targeted industry type topics. Uh, next up on the homepage is our upcoming events. Uh, this just pulls right from our website. So these are um, all upcoming events that we have. Um, you'll see there's quite a few here. It's also pulling uh, webinars um, and different on-demand classes uh, that we offer as well. So that'll just show the next couple that are available. 
Scrolling down, um, you also do the same thing with the news. You can see all of our recent news on here. Um, resources is anything that's been posted to the open forum. Um, for instance, this uh, here's the Paytech Paycheck Protection Program application um, that somebody shared um, some information about the PPP borrower information. Um, so this is just an easy way to see all the resources that's available. Another- Matt, Can I ask yeah. a question? You sure can. Is it possible to add in there a link to the AICPA for all the resources they have? Sure. <clears throat> who, or, who, who would have to do that? Um, if I, we can do it ourselves, um, or if you have something, you can do it under a discussion post. We'll, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. All right, you'd have to you'd have to post a discussion about what it is first to the open forum, which would then go to all members that have a connect account. So there's 2,800 people. And then you attach documents or hyperlink to different websites if you want to direct them okay. to resources. Yeah, because the AICPA has a lot of resources available. Yep. yep we can definitely do that. And I'll, um, we'll touch on that a little bit um, in just a moment. And so again, this is just recent discussions that are um, everything that's kind of been going on and then trending discussions. So this is just really like a recap of everything that's happening uh, within Connect. All right, so when you go on the left-hand side, um, the first thing, if you haven't been on, or maybe you have been on and you haven't done this already, if you click on my account and then go down to my profile, this is where you're gonna be able to edit your profile. You can upload a picture by doing this um, little pencil in the right-hand corner. You can um, also import your profile from LinkedIn. Um, it'll just ask you some information there. Um, if you click on update profile, this will give you all of your different settings. Um, we'll start with account. Um, so this will just, most of this should just be stuff that is set um, and admin, so I don't think you'll have to deal do a lot there. Um, for personal, this is any, you can update any of this information if you wanna put in a middle name, birth date, any designations you have, uh, cell phone. If you wanna do a background image, uh, which is this image up here um, under profile, if for some reason you wanna put um, something up there, maybe your company logo, you can do that. If you um, have a blog um, and you want to um, put it in your profile, it will update um, that people can see. You can put the RSS feed here. You can also uh, write my summary, my interests, and also update if you would like a signature on all of your uh, discussions that go out. I would really recommend that you do that. Otherwise it can be confusing. It doesn't automatically put that on there. And a lot of people I do think like to see who it is that's sending it out and where they're from. Um, so I, uh, recommend just copying the signature that you have on your emails uh, and putting it in there. And then the next one is professional. Again, this is all your information about your uh, company. This will pull from your um, membership information that we have in our database. So you can update uh, your position or company. Um, if you want to do that, you'll have to do that within the the website or let me know and I can update it. But you can update your phone, your website, if you want to put um, anything in about your job history. If you would wanna link your Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, you can do all of that on here as well. And then lastly is notifications. So this is gonna control how often you get notifications um, from Connect. Everyone um, was set up that you would um, get them as they go out. Um, is that's correct, right? Carrie, did they go? Everybody initially was defaulted to every time someone posts anything, you would get an email immediately. And so you can go in here and change that. So if you want it, for instance, if you want to get all a daily digest, so everything that's posted comes at 8 a.m. Um, on Mondays, um, and like every workday, you can do that. If you want to just do a weekly digest, so on Fridays at 8 a.m., you want a, a recap of everything that was posted, uh, you can do that. So it's all up to you. And it also lets you choose, like if you have private messages, um, if you want to get those immediate, um, but if you want to get um, all of the other emails um, in a daily or weekly, it allows you to choose how you want to get notifications. Um, 
And you can also do it if you're in different groups. For right now, most people are just going to be in the open forum. But as we add more groups, um, if you want to change, for instance, say we have a nonprofit group and you want to get those immediately, but for the open forum, you want to get them once a week, you can change that all in here and it will tell you, give you the options here. All right, so I believe those are all of the big things for under your profile. Um, Any questions there? Okay. All right. So if you go back on the left-hand side and click on my account, um, you can see over here that um, you have something that's called my messages. This here, will, it's kind of like an, an email inbox or any type of other like messenger service you might use. Um, so if you want to send a message to someone personally, rather than to the whole group, you can do it this way. If you just um, click on compose message, um, you can do a subject, you can choose who you want uh, to send it to. You just type it in there and it will come up with all of our members. Um, so for instance, if I want to send it something to Carrie, I would test it, uh, do whatever text, and then you can also send files as well. And then you would just send the message. If I post something. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see, what else is underneath here? This is um, the My Privacy Settings. We'll just let you go through if you um, want to change any of like who can see your profiles. So for instance, if you want only uh, the association members to see your profile, which we recommend, um, we only let members in here. So that would be the only people who could see it. If for some reason you wanna change it, you can also do it uh, to private. So only people that you've added to your contacts would see it. All right. And then the next one down um, on the left hand side is my group pages. So um, if you just click on my groups, It'll pull up the groups that you're involved with. Um, like I said, most will just have the open forum, so you can just click on it. And so this is what the main page of the, the open forum is gonna look like. All in here, you're gonna see all of the discussions. Um, you should be getting these all in your emails. Um, is there anyone who is not receiving these in, in their emails that didn't turn off notifications and think they should be getting it? Everyone seeing them? Good. Um, so an easy way to do it, um, you'll just, you'll, you don't even have to come in here to look at the discussions. You'll see them in your email. You can reply right in your email. However, um, if you want to actually come in here, you can um, do replies right in here. So for instance, if we click on this uh, one that I sent out about um, registering, You'll see in here um, everything that I put in here and you can have some options at the bottom. You can reply. If you press reply, it will reply to everyone. So all members um, that are part of the open forum will get it. So just be aware when you do that, um, that it's something that you wanna send out to the all members. If you wanna just reply to the person who sent it, make sure you do this blue reply privately. If you click on just that one, it will only respond to me, for instance, that did this post um, rather than the whole membership. I know that that can be a little confusing and some people just hit reply, not realizing like they're answering a question, but it's going out to everybody on the list. So I just wanna make sure um, that everybody is aware of that. Can I interject there for a second, Megan? Of course. When you reply um, to everybody, the first thing that happens is that that reply gets quarantined for a few minutes and they send a notification to me and I think Megan and potentially Walanta um, to approve that. So it won't go through. So if you accidentally post something that you don't want going out to the group, you might be able to catch us before we approve it and let it go to the whole group. Or if it doesn't make sense, like it's sometimes um, when I post the weekly polls, someone is replying obviously just to me personally, but they hit reply to the whole group. So I'll check, I may check with you if I see something like that before I let it go through to the entire 3000 people, I may be like, are you sure you want this to go to everybody? So there is a little bit of a control there. If you accidentally hit that, you can send me a quick email and catch me before I approve it and let it through. That's it, thanks. All right. Megan, quick question since we're yeah. talking about replies. Of course. Um, particular challenge, when the polls come out, mm -hmm. 
I see the radio buttons and I can click on those and one will fill in. But I, is there, how do you respond to that? It, I can't find the command that would say submit my vote. So just by clicking on it, submits it. Oh, okay. So just click on it. Yep. Yeah, so just by filling out that button, it submitted it. So you don't have to do anything more. That is a little confusing. Um, Initially, and I, I just got a survey that. monkey. Yeah. Initially, we were using SurveyMonkey, so you had to go to an external link to complete the survey, and now the surveys are embedded within the system. So as soon as you answer, you're done. Yeah, okay. but that is, I noticed that actually last week when I was doing something that there is, at first I was like, how do I submit this? And then I realized that as soon as I clicked it, it was adding it to the total. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so that actually brings us to another thing. Um, we do, um, I'm sure you've seen weekly member polls um, that we do through Connect. Um, We'll look at this one here um, that Carrie sent out this week. Um, you'll see it in your email. It will uh, show the question and then there'll be a link right in your email um, that looks like this staff turnover. Um, so this will allow you to actually go in here and vote. So this is what he was talking about. Like if you just clicked very concerned, that's automatically part of um, the vote. And you'll see once you click it on it, um, at, when we first post them, usually for the first two days, you won't be able to see the responses. Um, and then we update and send uh, a new email, usually about, is that like two or three days after we post it, Carrie, or is it the next day? Yeah, I usually try to give at least two days. Yep. Um, we'll send an update um, and then open up all of the answers so everyone can see it. So if you voted and you want to um, come back and see um, what everyone else said, you can come back in here and it'll show you like how many selected each answer and the percentage right on here. If you want to start a new discussion, um, you can do that right from the open forum, this main page that we were on. Um, all you need to do is go here to post new discussion. And it's gonna be a lot like those messages that you sent, um, the private messages, and it's gonna look a lot like an email. So you put in a subject, whatever the subject is that you wanna post about, you write your email, um, you can attach files. Um, you can also um, attach images if you needed to. Um, it has most of the formatting that you need. Um, and then you will not have this email immediately. That's an admin only thing. Um, so it will just automatically go, like Carrie said, it will kind of go into a quarantine until we approve it. Um, and then it will be sent out. So if you have any questions that you're, um, looking to ask that you think like maybe our membership could give you some good advice, or maybe there's something like Art was saying those AICPA resources that you think would be useful for all our members to see, this is a great place to post that. Um, we want it to be a place where you can connect with other members and use it as, as a way to uh, find answers to your questions, um, provide resources for other people. So this is our way like outside of in-person meetings um, and talking one-on-one -on -one and pick, having to pick up the phone and try to find a person who has the right answer. This is an easy way to access all of our members um, and get information that you need. Is there anything else, Carrie, that I'm missing on terms of posting a discussion? Is there something else? Not that I can think of. Yeah. I don't think so. No, I mean, if, if you really run into trouble with it and you need some help, uh, staff can log in as you and post for you. So if you, you know, it's the first time you try it, you're having some difficulty, just call one of us and we'll post. We can get in here and impersonate you and post it for you and then kind of walk you through it again. Um, you'll also be able to see in here any... Um, this is just news that's been posted that's available to, to the open forum. You'll be able to see for the open forum, this is all of our members. So if you're looking for someone specifically that you want to reach out to, you can just type in their name here um, and then send them a private message. Um, all of the resources that um, have been added will go right in here. Um, if you wanted to look back on resources that we had. If you wanna go back and look at all of our past polls, if you just click on polls, you'll see all of the polls and you'll be able to see all of those results. So if there's something that you're like wondering if um, you never saw the results or you, maybe you missed some of these polls, you can go back and look at those here. I wanna interject one thing here. Mm -hmm. If you have a suggestion for a poll or you have a question that you would like answered, please send it to me because it's not always easy to think of something new every single week and I could, I'm very open to suggestions. So if there's something you're interested in hearing from the whole membership about, send your questions and we'll use those for a poll too. I have a quick question about the polls. Is it possible to change my communication preferences on them so that I get those immediately, but not everything posted to the group immediately? Or is that not a, not a possibility? 
I believe that it goes, it follows um, the group, but let me check in on that just to make sure, because um, I am not 100% positive. It's also okay. possible if you create a new group that's just the polls and mm -hmm. duplicate everybody in there, but then they're definitely in two groups. So you have to select preferences for each. Right. Would yeah. be okay. All right, so those are really the big things about Connect. Is there anything else, Carrie, that we kind of should go over in, inside of Connect? I don't think so. I think you got it. I mean, I For think those of you, once you get in there and use it mm -hmm. once or twice, it becomes yes. Cool. And I mean, if anything doesn't make sense, like Carrie said, we are happy to jump on with you and kind of walk you through your first post so you know what you're doing, um, or if you have any questions. Um, we would like um, to kind of uh, segment some of our members sooner rather than later. Um, so if there, we'll probably start with some of our, our bigger groups um, like nonprofit um, because that'll be one of our probably most active ones. Um, but if there's something you would like to see that you think would be very useful, a lot of state societies uh, tax is a big one. Um, we our group hasn't used it as much um, for a tax resource, but I would love for it to grow in that way. Um, if there's anything else that you think would be helpful that is not like a like nonprofit tax, those type of topics, if there's uh, another group that you think would be helpful to have, have let us know. We're open. Um, and I mean, if you have any feedback on any of this, I mean, please let us know. Um, we're always looking for ways to improve and make it a good resource for you. I mean, that's the whole reason we did this was to be a benefit for our members. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're, we're doing everything that we can to make it as beneficial as possible. Does anyone have any other questions before we get off? We're happy to answer anything. Not for me, thank you. Yeah. All right, well, I expect to see posts from all of you within the next few days. <laughs> Megan, if you, so then, if you set up a tax group, I'd obviously like to be involved with that because that's exactly what I do. And just coming off the tax executive committee, I'm now on the tax practice and procedures committee and I'm a liaison to the Professional Ethics Executive Committee as well. So if you want to start any of those, I'd be happy to go that with you. That would be great, yes. Um, and that's something we're always looking for those super users that can really help with discussions and kind of get things started. I think a lot of people are a little worried or scared to be that first one, uh, but then once we get things out there and can post things, are posting things more regularly, more people jump in. The one thing I will tell you is please remind people if they put a question in there, do not divulge the client name or yep. client information. That's critically important. Yep. And I think, um, especially if we start something like a tax group, I think there'll be just like an overall, just some reminders that we'll put out there right in the beginning so people can remember that. And it's also something that we can have like under our resources as well to remind people also. Um, and Pamela had asked about the video. I see Carrie responded that we are taping this and we are going to post it as a resource um, after we edit it down. Um, so it will be available. So if you want to go back and view it again, um, it will we'll post it on our website. We'll also do a discussion post on here. So it's always um, as a resource within Connect. Um, so definitely uh, be on the lookout for that. All right, if no one has any more questions, I will let you go. Again, thank you guys so much uh, for joining us today. Um, and I hope to see you all on Connect soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.